Hello everybody, and the others. Um, bad news, and that is Steve, he's back already. He only made it a little bit over a month. Um, what happened was, they did some tests on him uh, before they didn't. I mean, they went to the hospital and had some tests done because he was having bad headaches. And so they found out from the test that his, his uh, pituitary gland inside his brain is growing and don't know if that's a tumor or what you know um, at the time they're saying you know no tumor but then when you read online it says there's usually a tumor in there that makes it grow so I'm not gonna say exactly what it is all we know is it a swelling and stuff we're gonna wait he had to get another test and that's what they did they, they they said he can't stay there until he goes home he has to get another test and then the doctors have to figure out what's going on and is it okay for him to come back and if it is then he can go back um, but he has no insurance you see so they're trying to find uh, some place that will help him out um, so he can get this test done so he can get back to his education when they called me I'm going like I was I was shocked and I was scared because she said she thought it was a tumor what she was reading on the paper and it was a nurse that was telling me now my grandpa Malcolm same name as, as me he died of a brain tumor he was older of course and then my daughter two weeks after she was born she died of a brain tumor we didn't we taught we took her home and didn't know anything was wrong and two weeks later she died uh, they were able to do surgery on her and get the tumor out but the swelling of the brain it cut off the oxygen and she died so she had made it to the surgery, but the recovery, she did not make it through. So, you know, of course I got scared because I didn't know what was going on. And when she said tumor, it's like, so they're worried that the uh, the gland could touch his optic nerve somehow or something like that. And it could make him go blind. Right now, as it is, he's just getting uh, bad headaches and stuff. Um, it's not affecting his vision or anything now yet. So... I don't know. I'm just hoping that they can get him in. Don't know how long that's going to take. And uh, then figure out what to do about it. Or is it going to be okay. I have another relative who has this. And hers is actually going down. It was growing and then it went back down. So this same thing could happen uh, with him. But, you know, he was just going to have to come home. And so was I. Because, you know, he was living here but you know he can't stay here when he came back and I even told them job for you know he has no place to go but he ended up living with, with uh, Andrew who has his own place so um, I'm glad that he's not homeless but this whole thing is like really it's scary and I just have to sit back and not say anything I apologize to everybody on Facebook because like I was kind of panicking and uh, you know I got freaked out I started having flashbacks of those other two people dying and I didn't want to have to go through that pain again. So I removed those things and said, I'll just wait until we get test results and all that. And then I'll tell you guys uh, what they found out. Sorry about, you know, uh, panicking for a minute. And everybody, you know, said, don't worry about it. It's understandable because of what you've done and went through in the past. So anyway, that's my update on Stephen. I hope and pray that everything will be okay. Alright, thank you for watching. You guys have a good one, and God bless.